First thing you need to know with regards to charging your EV is its relevant charging connections. Most EVs have two charging connections, one for rapid charging and one for the slower rate, fast charging. When you're charging at home or you're charging on a public fast charger, you'll be plugging into the smaller of the two sockets on the car. There are two different smaller connections that your car might have depending on age. All newer EVs have a Type 2 socket, which is now a standard charging connection. Some earlier EVs, however, may have a Type 1 socket, which is slightly smaller. Into this socket, you will charge the lead from your three-pin charger or the lead from your home charge point or your public charging cable that you'll use to plug into a public fast charger, as these don't have built-in leads. Whether your car has a Type 1 or a Type 2 socket is largely irrelevant because you'll be provided with leads that fit either the Type 1 or the Type 2 socket and either have a 13 amp plug at the other end or a Type 2 connector that fits the universal charge point socket. There are three different types of rapid charging connection and you'll need to be sure that the charge point you intend to use has a connector that will fit your EV. CCS, this is fast becoming the standard rapid charging connection for most new EVs and it is the connection you will find on the BMWs, the Volkswagens, the newer Kias and Hyundai models, Peugeots and the newer Tesla models etc. All new rapid charger installations have to have CCS as one of their connections. Chadamo, uh, this connection has historically been favoured by the Asian manufacturers. It's still present on the uh, Nissan Leaf uh, and you'll find it on some earlier EVs such as the earlier Kia Souls. It is a completely separate large round port on the cars that have it. AC Rapid. Now this is a less common connection that you find on the Renault Zoe's and the smart cars. The newer Zoe actually has the option of a CCS rapid charging port for anyone who actually plans to do a lot more rapid charging. With regards to cables, all rapid chargers have a built-in lead so you don't need to carry any additional cable to charge at one of these charge points. I hope this video helps you understand the different charging connections on an EV. If you'd like to find out more, be sure to check out our in-depth public charging video. These can be found on our YouTube channel, and while you're there, please be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to find out more about charging your EV, or indeed find out more about any other aspect of living with an electric car, please do get in touch, and thank you very much for watching.